M0FXB, welcome to my channel. And in this case, we're using a scanner. It's a budget scanner, very inexpensive. You can buy these under £100 in the UK. It has a BNC antenna connector on the back, as you can see, and just a 12 volt power supply. Uh, so nice and easy to run. It doesn't draw hardly any amps, so you can plug it into your car, no problem. It has this quite nifty stand with all the frequencies listed there that it covers. It, you can't type in the frequency in this, but, but that's not a problem because it's such good value and so easy to use. And I recommend you connect it to a, an antenna that is outside of your house if possible or in your loft. So higher the better. So let's just work out how this works. First thing we'll do is turn it on. Let's just completely turn it off. I've noticed that when it's off, it still you know, lights up. So we'll turn it on and then we'll hit the search button. And you can't, you can't type in a frequency, but what you can do is select a band that's near it. So a group of frequency that's near. So at the moment, we're just searching the two meter ham radio band. If we press hold to stop the search, and then we'll start going through the different bands it covers and look at the start and the finish. So look, 144 to 146 megahertz, and so on and so on. So that would be marine type bands. There, I would say. You've got the squelch control here. If you turn it down, you can add an external speaker. So I would turn the squelch down and then just turn it back up until the noise stops and obviously volume here. So let's, let's, let's try the, so this is the 70 centimeter band. So we'll click search. You can go up and down with the frequency we'll click search like I said if you've got a Uniden BC355 it's, it's, it's the same device so it's now scanning the 70 centimeter and eventually it'll get to the hand bands but it's the 70 centimeter or 400 to sort of 440 megahertz band which is built into this pre-built into this device so when you get near to a frequency you do want to listen to then you would press hold so let's just say that's the frequency you want. If you're not quite there, you can go up and down. Let's say that's the one you want. Now to save it, all you do is press program here. Then the private button, which is effectively the memory button. Choose an empty channel. You know it's empty because it flashes with all the zeros. Then go down or up. Down, it's going to show you the channels that we've already stored. Go up. That's a blank one, it's all zeros, number 10. And now you can hit the, the program button. And now it's gone in there, you've got it as a memory. If you scroll down, I should, oh, other memories that I've added. We've got air band, marine band, hand bands, two meter, 70 centimeter bands. Uh, we've got eight, if you look here, band step. Just go in here. You've got the, the megahertz of 806 to 960 megahertz. You've got 406 to 512. So quite a choice there. A popular one that people will search for would be CB, I would say. That's in there. Got some music there. <laughs> Now we've got the close call feature here as well. Let's just hold it. And this is really handy. If you press it once, it's only going to receive the strong signal. So if you press it again, it will receive the strong signals, but it will, I think it, it will check every two seconds. And if you push it again, then it's just going to you know, receive the not everything basically that, that the antenna can receive. So okay, and you've got these shortcut buttons here as well. Air Marine, it will just scan, CB, PMR, emergency, up and down scanning. So I think overall it's a good scanner. There's a lot more features to this scanner, which we'll be covering in, in other videos. But this is just a basic overview, and uh, I really enjoy this scanner, and it works great. Bye for now, 7.3.